Harry Styles' mom has given fans a rare insight into her global superstar son's life. The 29-year-old heartthrob is one of the most famous men in the world and has enjoyed a career others can only dream of. After getting his big break on The X Factor as one-fifth of One Direction, he was in one of the biggest selling boy bands of all time. Since going solo in 2016, Harry has had number one singles in the UK and US, achieving the rare feat of breaking America. He has also won six Brits, three Grammys and an Ivor Novello Award and starred in films including Dunkirk and Don't Worry Darling. Plus, he was the first man to ever appear on the cover of Vogue. In 2022, Harry, worth an estimated £116 million from album sales, sold out tours and brand deals, was named the richest British star under 30. The As It Was singer has a property portfolio which includes homes in London, California, and New York, a retro art collection and fleet of vintage cars. But when he comes back to his mum's house in Holmes Chapel in Cheshire he's just like any other son, his mum and Twist says. In an interview with the Daily Mail, the 55-year-old shared, he's just the same as he has always been. As a very little boy, he is very much like he is now, just a smaller version. Like most children returning to their parents' houses, and said the first thing Harry will do when he comes home is raid the fridge. But despite her son's global fame, and says he remains down to earth and says she is just as proud of his sister Gemma, 32, a writer and podcaster with more than 9 million Instagram followers. She said, I'm very proud of Harry and his older sister Gemma and the adults they've become. They're both really hard working, they've got good morals and they're really kind people. I know it sounds like a dreadful cliché, but as long as they're happy. That's the most important thing. With Gemma living in London and Harry splitting his time between America and the UK, it's hard for the family to see each other regularly. But Anne reveals they are fiercely close-knit saying, we're all close, it's just geography, adding, we all see each other when we can. The former pub landlady went on to say she always knew Harry had something special, ever since he was a little boy. Recalling his big smile, Anne says it was Sister Gemma who was always the quieter, less extroverted one. During auditions for the X Factor auditions back in 2010, Simon Cowell told Anne mums have a tendency to be biased about their child's talents. But I always thought he, Harry, had something, she said. His late granddad Brian Selly, Anne's father, was Harry's number one fan and even went to a One Direction concert in 2013 when he was 77. In a sweet anecdote, Anne revealed that somehow Brian managed to fall asleep through the performance. Speaking about his pride for his grandson, Brian said at the time, he's still the same. He always has a smile on his face and is very loving and caring. We're all lucky to have him. To me he's just Harry. I don't think of him as this well-known pop star like everyone else. Sadly Brian passed away from Parkinson's in August 2021 at the age of 86. Now Harry's mum Anne is working with Parkinson's UK ahead of World Parkinson's Day on April 11. For more information on Parkinson's UK or to make a donation go to Parkinson's. Org.uk Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at Trinidamirror. 
www.ghanaimpressions.com or call us direct 0207 29